it's time for your maths video for this week. Now, there are lots of brilliant maths activities this week, all to do with the hungry caterpillar. There's some ordering that you can do, and days of the week, things like that. But I'm going to talk to you about the challenge. Now, the challenge is to make 3D shapes using cocktail sticks or straws or pipe cleaners. And then to sit them together, you can use blue tack or Play-Doh or I'm going to use marshmallows. So I've washed my hands really good because if I wash my hands really nicely, then I can eat marshmallows after. And I've got some little mini marshmallows that I'm going to use. I'm going to make some different 3D shapes. Now, I'm going to start with a 2D shape first because I know those really, really well. So I'm going to make a square. How many sides does a square have? Can you help me? Four! A square has four sides, so I need four cocktail sticks. And how many corners? Four. So I need four marshmallows. I'm going to push a cocktail stick into my marshmallows and that's going to hold them together. And I'm going to make my square. It's a little tricky and my cocktail sticks are sharp so I'm being very careful that I'm not poking myself and there is my square four sides four marshmallows now I want to turn it into a 3d shape what 3d shape has a face of a square a cube now a cube has more edges 12 edges. So I'm going to need 12 cocktail sticks. So right now I'm starting by putting one cocktail stick coming up out of each one and then I'm going to put a marshmallow on the top of each one and put another stick between them. Again, very fiddly. And now I have made my cube. I have made a cube. So I'll check to you. Different side. My cube. Now, I wonder what other shapes, 3D shapes, are I can make. Again, let's start with a 2D shape. Let's make a triangle. How many sides do I need for a triangle? Three. So I need three cocktail sticks. How many corners? Three. So three marshmallows. Pop them together. Triangle. A few more marshmallows, I'm running out. So, to make it into a pyramid, I need to do like I did with the cube and put one cocktail stick sticking up out of each marshmallow. But instead of having another triangle on the top, they're all going to join together in the middle with just one marshmallow. Like that. There is my pyramid. Pyramids are pointy. This is a triangle based pyramid because the bottom is also a triangle. There's one triangle there, one triangle there, one triangle there, and one at the bottom. Four triangles, four faces. They're all triangles. Because we're using cocktail sticks, can't make a sphere because they don't bend into a circle. I also can't make a cuboid unless I break 
my cocktail sticks because all my cocktail sticks are the same size so it will always turn into a cube but if I got a grown-up to cut them then I could make a cuboid. Let's think of one more shape that we could make. We could make a prism. Now a prism we're going to make a triangular prism, so it's going to start with a triangle again, so we know how to do that. Let's make a triangle again. Three sticks, three marshmallows. Got my triangle. Now a prism is a bit more like a cube. We're going to put one stick coming up out of each marshmallow just like we did before, but we're not going to join them together this time. We're going to make another triangle to go on the top. So we need another three, and three, so I've got my second triangle and I'm going to put that on top. Of my first triangle to make my triangular prism. Now triangular prism is different to a pyramid because it's not pointy and it's only got one two triangle faces. It's got two triangle faces and one two three rectangle faces. They could also be squares. Square is a special type of rectangle. So you have two triangle faces. There's a triangular prism and then we get one, two, three rectangle faces. So I've made a prism. I have made a pyramid and I have made a cube. I wonder what shapes you can make. Start with your 2D shape and then turn it into a 3D shape. You could do labels for them as well. In reception, we don't need to be able to spell the names of those shapes, so your grown up could help you write them if you can tell them what the different shapes are. I can't wait to see what you build. And remember, wash your hands first if you want to eat those marshmallows after. Bye!